fly that I'm going to tie. It's called a black and purple matuka. And it's a good early summer, late spring fly. Lots of places. Again, I use it a ton at strawberry. And even going into the hot part of the summer, fishing it deep on the Soldier Creek side out in 60 and 70 feet of water on a type 7 line. It's an amazingly effective pattern. I generally tie this fly a little larger. I think this is actually going to be on a, a size 6 uh, Gamagatsu S11S hook. And I love, for the big cutthroats at Strawberry, I really like fishing Gamakatsu hooks. They're expensive, but they they just are so sharp. I think my number of hookups increases about 25% over fishing a, 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 a less expensive hook. For sure. with two different colors of purple crystal flash. I don't know if you can see those. One of them is a darker one. One of them is a lighter, kind of a lavender purple. Both of them work well, and they both work at different times, it seems like. So having both colors in your arsenal is not a bad thing. certainly try it you know I haven't played around with it I'm sure it'd work good if you did Just reattach my thread at the back and I'm using a black uh, zonker style rabbit strip and I'm going to make the tail just, just about the length of the body. Once I've got my tail up prepared, I like to take a little bit of super glue. This is crazy glue, but it's just super glue. Put a little bit on there and actually all the way across the top of the fly. This thread that I'm using on this, I call it magic thread, but it's it's actually a real fine floor carbon. So it's really nice to use when you have to run through materials because it's so thin and still quite strong. It just disappears running through a material. that up to about the middle section of the fly and separate the fur again just to tie the body in a little better. And do just one wrap around that. Cramp in my hand.
take that up and you can do it either two different ways sometimes on this one with the longer rabbit fur I'll just tie this off here and trim it and then cut it and make a little bib of rabbit fur and tuck it under if it's a if it's a bigger pattern fly than this I'll actually wrap a collar with the fur all the way around but on this size fly, if you do it, it covers up too much of the body. It's going to hurt. slippery and fine. I definitely like to double whip finish when I'm using it. And even a little touch of super glue on the head of it. I hate it when flies fall apart on me. Okay, that's a black and purple matuka. It's a good bug too, I'll tell you.